Congratulations. How does it feel to be drafted by the Detroit Red Wings? Yeah, it feels amazing, honestly. Like, I just feel like I blacked out after I heard from the Sioux Greyhounds. I was like, oh, it could be me here. And yeah, it's, it feels surreal, honestly. It's, it's a dream come true. Yeah. Did you have any indication that they were interested or that they could be a landing spot for you? Yeah, I mean, I had, I had interviews with, with, a, with a bunch of teams, and, and Detroit was one of them. And, I was definitely looking forward to, to hear their picks and uh, you know, I was looking to try to hear my name, that would be cool, but yeah, uh, it's amazing. You obviously got a much bigger role this year in the Sioux. What did you learn from kind of that heavier workload in the O? Yeah, it was, it was exciting to you know, be a part of a good team and, and have a good run this year. And uh, you know, It was exciting to learn from some of the older guys and, and kind of get my feet wet in the league and, and really uh, see what I can do. What's it been like just taking in the draft experience here? Yeah, it's been awesome. This is my first time in Vegas, and I mean, the sphere is, is pretty sweet. I mean, you don't see this anywhere else, that's for sure. It feels like it's like a Lego land over here. It's it's unreal, honestly, so it's it's been a great time. How much family did you bring to Vegas with you? Yeah, I brought about 10 people with me, but I mean, a lot of them, I think, were just coming to see Vegas as well. <laughs> it's a great spot to be, so I think uh, I think that's pretty cool. What was Sue Greyhound meant to getting you to this moment? Yeah, they mean everything. Uh, I mean, last year playing junior uh, at a little lower level to you know get my feet wet and play more, and, and you know uh, you know this year playing on the team was awesome. I mean, I wouldn't want to play anywhere else. Honestly, I love it there, and and uh, you know it means so much to me to be a part of there. What have Kyle Raffis and John D specifically done to help grow you as a player? Yeah, I mean they've. Uh, They've really, they haven't rushed me into anything. They, they've really taken their time with me, and I think it's, it's paid dividends. Uh, you know, I love it there. They're, they're two great guys, and I uh, uh, mean a lot to, to, to my development and, and to where I am today, right? Being in the Sioux, we know it's Greyhound's town. What's it been like just, you know, even being part of that community? Yeah, it means everything. It's, it's sweet. I love the community there. The people are so nice. I mean, uh, we mean everything to them, and they mean everything to us. It's... It's a great community, and uh, I'm so proud to be a part of it. We've had Mark Vizantino around this year as well. How much of a help has he been? Yeah, he's been fantastic. I mean, he's been through he's been through a lot in his playing days, and you know, for him to be able to pass the, some of the information on to us is is pretty exceptional. And uh, you know, he's a great guy, and, and super lucky to have him as a role model. Is someone like that helped, especially the mental game, being a goaltender like that? Yeah, I mean, there's there's not much in the game that he hasn't been through, and. And uh, you know, I get to kind of learn off of him and, and learn from some of his mistakes and things that he's told me. And it's pretty cool to to kind of pick his brain on days and and be able to you know understand the position and the game a little bit more. How do you feel you grew from the challenge of playing in the OHL? Yeah, I think you know with every game I got more comfortable and and more confident in the net. And, and it was you know it's exciting. It's such a great league, and uh, you know super super humbled to be a part of it. And I think. I think uh, you know, as you play uh, as a younger goalie, as you play more and, and get more confidence, I think things just get a little easier for you. And I think uh, towards the end of the season, that was definitely part of that. You played for the Red Wings team at Brick, right? When I you were, did. Like, so this isn't the first time you put on the yeah. jersey, right? Yeah, I ended up playing for the Red Wings at the Brick tournament and, and was lucky enough to wear the Red Wings jersey there. So, so I have one of those in my closet as well. So I guess we'll add another one to it. Um. Yeah, I, I I think we won in shootout one game, which was pretty cool. I mean, it's a pretty sweet spot there at the West Edmonton Mall. It's that was pretty exciting. I think that was kind of my first taste of like meaningful hockey. It was pretty cool there. So you know, I'm excited to to stay in the red and white. That's for sure. How did that come to be? You playing for the Yeah. So um, Ryan Barnes, who's actually a part of my agency in Cortex now reached out to me because I got cut from the Toronto teams and they, they needed a goalie so you know it was kind of a perfect fit there and you know I, my dad made the drive down for me and uh, you know got the ball rolling there in Detroit. Yeah.